Hello, my name is Michael. I've had a laser now for about, oh, a year and a half to two years. I started out with an Orter LM2, which I was very happy with for quite some time. Uh, then I just found it really didn't have the power that I needed to, to do the projects I wanted to do anymore. So I upgraded to a longer B1 30 watt laser. And I'm in love with that thing compared to the uh, Ortur that I had. Now, of course, Ortur has come out with several different uh, models since then and have upgraded. But nevertheless, I've, I've had some questions uh, throughout the year and a half about, in fact, a lot of less uh, questions out on the internet. Uh, how much borax should I use to, to be able to burn on a board? And, you know, and different people have said different things. Uh, some people say, well, just dump some in, add water, paint it on or spray it on, and then, uh, then burn after you let it dry. Uh, some say use a 10 to 1 ratio. Uh, that is really not a very uh, detailed way to do it or scientific way. Uh, in fact, I've, I've done the dump and, and paint and, and burn, and I've come out with pretty decent results surprisingly. But, uh, but I wanted to do some testing of my own and share it with you this day. And so what I've done is I've got some uh, bamboo board from Dollar Tree and some eighth inch birch that I got from Lowe's uh, that I, I, did, a, I did, did the burn on. Now to mix this up I of course used borax and this comes, came from Walmart, cost just under six dollars, and you get four pounds of it. Uh, I mixed it up with two-thirds cup of water, and I used uh, one teaspoon, two, three, and four uh, to do my testing one. Of course, I just put it into a, a scrap jar. I use a foam brush to uh, paint it on and, uh, and to mix it up with. To mix it, you put two-thirds of a cup of water in, into a container. Hot water has to be hot or that borax will not dissolve. Uh, you put two-thirds of a cup of borax in here. You mix it up until it is clear, until it's fully dissolved. At which point you paint your board uh, just once, a uh, good, good paint, and then you let it set overnight and let it dry. Then you can do your burn. Now the testing that I've done, and of course this is going to be a quick video, so on the bamboo, here is the uh, results that I've got. Now you'll notice on the uh, zero amount here, the lowest, I used 400 inches per minute at 20% power. Now to start out with, there, if you look really close, you can see a couple spots but it didn't burn much at all with zero, with, with the zero percent uh, uh, borax. Then I added one teaspoon, and you can see it starts to burn a little bit, two, three, and four, and four is kind of starting to stop burning like it should, which kind of surprised me. Um, and so I went to the 40 percent power, and uh, of course at zero teaspoons you can see a little bit of burn, but at one teaspoon, it really starts coming out. At two teaspoons, it is, has that full, rich, dark color. And then three and four really didn't make a difference. Now, bumping up the uh, power to 60 and 80 percent really just kind of burned the borax away. And so you need to be careful with, uh, with your power settings and, uh, you know, how you're going to burn it. Of course, each of your machines is going to be different. And here's the birch. Now you can see somewhat the same results here. And uh, again at 440%, it came out with a very nice, rich, deep black color in it. And so, and once again, this is two-thirds cup of water with one, two, three, and four uh, te teaspoons of borax in it. If you have questions or 
anything, the, please update the uh, video and I'll try to respond to them. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy this. Keep on burning.